a lot of the listeners of the podcast have, have been mentioning this to me and asking me to give my take on it and everything because it's it's literally right now a rumor. It's yeah. it's just a rumor. It's something that should be taken with a grain of salt right now. Hasbro, Takara, no one has come forward really and have made an official statement. But apparently um, a couple of days ago, Choice Toys, which is one of the biggest Transformer distributors uh, in China and Shanghai and everything like that, they recently canceled their order for MP41 Dinobot. Um, completely canceled it, citing uh, poor fact, uh, quality of the toy. And that right away led people to assume that I guess this means that Masterpiece Dinobot is canceled. And I'm going like, I, I, I find that hard to believe that Masterpiece Dinobot is canceled considering how far along this toy already is. Right. I mean, it's already in Figure King magazine. They're already, you know, like we just had Tokyo Comic Con not too long ago where the final product of the toy was shown off on display. I find it hard to believe that they would go this far, this much engineering, this much hype, video packages, Takara's YouTube account, all this stuff only to cancel it. Yeah, you they're, know, it, they're too far being all in on it. Like, even you if know? even if there is QC issues, in my opinion, like I don't know, like maybe the uh, the yeah. hand the yeah. hands are breakable or something. You know what? There's been a lot of Transformer toys that fresh out of the package have had problems. One of those being like recently Trypticon. Trypticon has had hip issues and stuff like that. What about um, Megatron? MP Mega, the new MP Megatron. Everyone was kind of complaining about. Yeah, there's there's little things here and there too because of of you know how intricate it is and how some areas could be very fragile. I mean, those things exist already right now. I can't imagine it it kicking the legs out from under of MP Dinobot here and making it not happen. Um, some people are speculating it's you know the the high QC problems combined with the cost of the figure, but then like you said, you know, Masterpiece Megatron was not a cheap guy either. He had a lot of QC issues right out of the box and things that you know fiddly things that made people a little nervous when transforming him. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it happened. Now, granted, I don't want to compare a you know Emperor of Destruction G1 Megatron to Dinobot. I mean, right. it's a- it, it's apples and oranges in terms of popularity and how many more pre-orders. Uh, that toy would get over, you know, a more niche uh, Beast Wars character as much as I, you know, and I don't want to belittle Dinobot, you know how much I love that character, but I mean, in in a comparison of just what is more popular and and what would sell better, um, and it really sounds from interviews how much the Masterpiece designer crew really want to get as many Beast Wars toys out there because they love it, where they feel more obligated to do G1 stuff because it sells better. Yeah. So... I think this would probably be the best time to get your... You know your your Beast Wars stuff out because yeah you know and everyone, I, I, honestly everyone. my final opinion on this is just as much as there's been a lot of word going out there and stuff like that I would take everything with a grain of salt right now because I would I would believe you if we were still in the CG stages or early like you know resin prototypes and stuff like that because I know plenty of Transformers that got to the resin prototype stage. Mm-hmm. transformable and everything and those got canceled those never got further than that animated had stuff like that titaniums had stuff like that uh, alternators had stuff like that a lot of that stuff got to resin stages where they were final not the final product but you know finally designed it transforms it's just you know it didn't get to the test shot phase which is done in the actual plastics that it would be used in and then the final shot stage final shots is when it's in the actual colors and deco like you know it's the final product just yeah. just not in the packaging do so we, um, but, do we do we have an official date for dinobot cuz to uh, my knowledge i don't think we do we just have Oh hey, this is how much we're pre-ordering it. I for. really should have. It's slated to kind of come out around this time, but I, I'm trying to remember if there was an official date by Hasbro saying or Takaro, excuse me, saying like this is when this toy is coming out. Well, I'm gonna go to one of my Japanese sources right now. I'm just gonna just do a quick check of this because, um, I, I one while one could use like certain examples like you know Big Bad Toy Store stuff like that. According to my source here, one of my Japanese sources, they say a release date of July 2018. Mm. That's what they say. And again, you know, that's an ample amount of time, number one. Uh, 
I think that this is just another guess here. Chinese New Year is going to be coming up after our American New Year. Mm -hmm. Uh, When Chinese New Year comes around, everything goes on lockdown. Yeah. You know, everything shut down for like a a month. month. You know, (laughs) so I think that maybe it's they're just kind of jumping the gun. They're like, oh, we're having QC issues right now. You know, it's the holidays. You know, we're not going to have a lot of time to tackle this. And then Chinese New Year comes around, which is like, you know, late January, early February. I have to double check what because it moves around every year. Yeah. yeah. Um, It's based on lunar lunar union. Yeah. So 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 I think that they're I think it's people are just jumping the gun right now. I think that we're we're too far ahead for this to just be canceled. You know, we are way too far ahead for this stuff to be canceled. Um, and and, and the, the examples you gave before of stuff being in resin phase and transformable, are they usually like, hey, this is coming out soon, watch out for it, or is it like stuff they haven't even talked about yet, and then once it gets We've, to that point, they're it's like, always, oh, it's, it's always been stuff, to give an example, BACON 2011, mm-hmm. um, we were brought, uh, we not 2011, excuse me, BACON 2009, we were brought to Hasbro's uh, like a little like tour and everything. Right. And was it 2000? I'm trying to remember which year. Oh, it was 2007. Excuse me. Sorry. BACON 2007. We, we had a Hasbro tour and we were shown, here's all these uh, titanium toys that made it past to the resin stage. They're ready to go. They just need to be molded in, in the, the metals and or plastics that are going to be used for it. Mm-hmm. And then afterwards like i said test shot final shot and then put in the packaging so and we saw rc which never happened Mm. uh it would have been the first rc toy that would turned into a car at the time uh cosmos uh we shot we saw uh what would have been um a different kind of alternator jazz for alternators which never happened which actually was a porsche Um, oh yeah yeah i remember that image that yeah floated out there in the world. So like, you know, and again, all these things that got to that phase, but just never went the step beyond that. But it, you know, and then for people who are fans of animated, uh, there was Hot Shot, animated Hot Shot, uh, a Megatron that w- was very inspired from Beast Machines. Mm-hmm. Um, there was quite a few stuff that was planned. And just when it gets to that stage of when it's now a final shot, not even a test shot, a final shot where this is the product that you're literally going to have in the box. Right. I can't see them going back from that. Mm-hmm. You know, at, at most, at most, what they do with stuff like that when they get cold feet, they make a limited release. Yeah. They do. They they make it like a, a a Toys R Us exclusive, or I mean, look, E Hobby has done tons of stuff like that. Or even within the case of of Masterpiece, mm-hmm. when they were when they were having cold feet with the Marlboro Jazz, if you will. You know, e- exhaust, which oh, was okay. Okay. The, uh, the was that j- no, that wasn't jazz. Not excuse me, not jazz. Uh, wheel jack. Sorry. Wheel jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know the Marlboro wheel jack, uh, which was called exhaust. You know they were getting cold feet. Oh my God. You know the cigarette thing. They made it a web exclusive kind of thing afterwards. Mm. And so you just got it. And but did anyone have a problems getting it? Hell no. We all got it. You know, we were all able to easily get it. I know I know. Um, Azusa had plenty of them on his table, you know, oh, and I think he, true. he was asking like 60 bucks, you know, and people mm-hmm. were people were trading their, their Bacon exclusives for it. You know? like, <laughs> like no one was having a problem getting it. So it's, it's something that, I mean, worst case scenario, it'll be a limited release, but I guarantee, even though it'll be a limited release, I get a feeling every guy at TFCon, every dealer will have like plenty of them. So it's it's not going to be something too difficult. Um, I, I think that everyone's worries. I think everyone's jumping the gun way too soon. Again, this this toy still isn't slated to come out for like another like six to seven months. So I think it's way too soon. Um, I think people are just getting nervous because it's a big pre-order price, and I think maybe they're just you know maybe they're trying to justify to themselves not to pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't really want to drop two hundred and fifty bucks on this, but. But, you know, but it is uh, really awesome. It's Dinobot, and it's so good. So, but yeah, that's that's my take on it. I don't know, Wendell, if you want to add anything to it, but I don't. I don't think there's much to add to it. I mean, um, I say wait and see, and but I don't. Yeah, I don't see them. They've been really pushing this toy. They've been showing it off, and like I'm trying. 
like when when you said they had those canceled RC stuff, did they say like, "Hey guys, we're coming out with a new thing"? Like outside of that tour? Uh, no. It I'm, was I'm it, it was no. more it was more showing people what was going to happen and then didn't happen. Yeah, you know more than I, I'm. So, I know, so again, so like like I said, like they uh, Hasbro slash Takara, they're controlling the info that gets out there, and so far we've been seeing. Dinobots happening. Yeah, there's Dinobots been there coming. has been no official statement from the parties that do matter about mm. this yet. And I mean, I think the one that really locks it down for me, aside from magazine photos that are you know like Figure King, which is a reputable Japanese magazine, already showing the final product stuff, having Takara's uh, YouTube account and having that video package where it's like hyping it up, it's good to go. You know, why would they get that so far along and then pull the plug? You yeah. know, get get all that excitement. You know, the Japanese are not like I'm, that. You know, I mean, so um, like if we had to like compare it to a video game kind of uh, thing, whenever they um, pull back and uh, pull back a video game and say like, oh, we need to work on some stuff, so we're gonna uh, push back the release date. You have to think about it this way. That's a lot of money that's wasted. That's not. A, that's a lot of what. Like, hey, we printed out all these things. We're gonna go to all these shows. Or we booked all these tickets, and now we have to cancel all these tickets. All these things we printed out, we have to throw them in the garbage because they have the wrong date on them. Well, that think is about it. A lot it. of money. That's a lot of money wasted. So I mean, all that put, time and money put into the engineering of this toy for a mm-hmm. character that is unproven in terms of sales. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. It, because it's not. It's never been show accurate. It's never been show accurate, but also it's not G1, so it's you know it's going to get a fraction of the sales that say a Soundwave or a Megatron would get, mm-hmm. you know, so or, or or even a Shockwave or a Starscream. So it's just it's something that you know I don't I don't have the numbers for Cheetor in terms of sales. I don't have the numbers for Optimus Primal for sales, but I mean it's it's pretty clear that they're still going to be doing G1 stuff. It's just it's more that it's the designers that want to make this happen. Yeah. So. For them to put all that time and money and effort into it to pull the plug, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Not not at the, not we're at this stage. So I mean, again, let's wait it out. Let's see what happens.